We have quite a bit of important Tesla stock news today. Let's go through everything, starting with a story that stunned me. The most famous Tesla analyst in South Korea shared his story of his informal meeting with Tesla. The direction of Tesla is clear with FSD and Optimus, and we expect it to succeed by around July this year. The view that FSD will have robotaxi equivalent capabilities by June or July is the personal opinion of the engineers. Tesla engineers I have spoken to. I don't believe this is an official goal within Tesla or guidance that can be shared externally. Well, this got me stunned because this is not just Elon Musk saying this. This is, I believe, Tesla engineers saying that. And it's not even the end of the year. It's in a few months. And these people, they have access to the next version of FSD. So what are we seeing that they are able to say things like that? If it really does happen this June or July, that will be crazy. The stock would probably double and triple very quickly. I'm not expecting that though, but eventually when it does happen, that's probably exactly what I will say a few months before it actually happens. Tesla produced over 1,000 Cybertrucks worth of 4680 cells at Giga Texas last week, which should be more than a 50% improvement since October. That's based on numbers from James, but Jordan thinks Tesla improved production by 25% in five months based on his math. One reason why the scaling of the batteries has been relatively slow is because they had to retool for the generation 2 4680 cells. And now that the line has been retooled, it'll be really interesting to see how fast Tesla is able to scale this further. Jordan continues and says, so far, it looks like they are keeping the 4680 RAM just ahead of the Cybertruck ramp, and they are bringing more 4680 lines up at Austin and Berlin. Which brings us a few questions. Are they ramping more 4680 lines because they are having trouble keeping up with the uh, Cybertruck ramp or because they are confident they have solved the production issues with the 4680 batteries? Jordan's guess is that the 4680 production system is solved just enough that they are comfortable duplicating it, but they are also ramping lines to guarantee cell supply for the Cybertruck. Watch Tesla economists become a bull again soon, but only after the stock price goes up. Anyway, I see this as good news because I don't think Tesla is producing a thousand cyber trucks per week right now. But going forward, Tesla has the battery capacity to do that. Oh, this is pretty big news. U.S. federal prosecutors have accused two men of stealing Tesla trade secrets. A Canadian man who lives in China was arrested today and held in New York after he and a business partner were accused of trying to sell secret battery manufacturing technology. The defendants built their own business using Tesla sensitive and proprietary information, which we can confirm. This is the official statement, by the way, and even marketed their business as a replacement for Tesla's products. One of the guys was arrested just now after he sent trade secrets to an undercover agent. Here's how we know it is Tesla. You can pause and read if you like. I hope the full extent of the law is applied to punish them. Sandy Monroe's Cybertruck teardown is officially underway. We should be expecting some more videos from Sandy very soon. I'm looking forward to these. Marcus Brownlee just posted a review of the Cybertruck after 1,000 miles. He's really not happy with the panel gaps, but we expect that from first Teslas when they are first produced and then over time it gets better. He said it's not an ideal long range road trip due to slower charging and larger battery, but that will change once before chargers roll out. Lots of fingerprints on the outside. It would be nice to have a fob to open the front. The rear view mirror is a Joe how to remap brain to look at the screen and an incredibly good suspension. The driver's side door. There's no door handles, as you can tell. The way to get into the truck is that little handle, and it pushes it out, and then you pull the truck out the rest of the way. That's why there's fingerprints all over this truck. Elon Musk actually commented on this panel gap that Marcus Brownlee was talking about. Gregor Truck says, this is single-handedly the worst gap I've seen on any door, period. It's a bummer. This is what was on MKBHD Foundation Series Cybertruck door. Omar is also not happy. Embarrassing if slower growth is expected this year, the focus should shift to quality. But Elon shares good news. About 15 Cybertrucks in service had an issue where the door striker loosened in the field due to insufficient torque after door fed. This takes 
five minutes to fix in service and has been addressed in production. And here's another celebrity getting a Tesla Cybertruck. This is, of course, good advertising for Tesla to sell not just Teslas, Tesla Cybertrucks, but other Tesla vehicles as well. He has 25 million followers across all social media platforms. But it makes sense why he's getting the Cybertruck because he is one of the 11 crew selected for the Dear Moon mission that will take SpaceX's Starship around the moon. And Elon actually reposted this post of Steve getting the Cybertruck which got 53 million views. Here's another celebrity with a Cybertruck. And here's Big Sean. He has 35 million followers across all social media platforms. And someone went as far as saying that advertising is not needed because of this. But Gary disagrees. Why not do both? Get celebrities and athletes to show off their cyber trucks for free, plus advertise your other products to expand your total addressable market to non EV users. $100 million in ad spend in lieu of $1 billion in price cut seems like a great deal for Tesla. And Troy says, I have seen a few different Tesla ads on YouTube this week here in the UK. Until now, there were none. So it does look like Tesla is ramping up its advertising efforts. And Gary says, Cybertruck could become a key catalyst to 2025 earnings if Tesla can't continue to scale up production. We estimate Tesla is currently producing 400 Cybertrucks per week and could be producing 1,000 per week by Q4. We estimate Tesla Tesla will deliver 30,000 Cybertrucks in 2024 at $15,000 profit per Foundation Series truck worth about 10 cents per share. In 2025, Gary estimates 100,000 Cybertrucks delivered at a $20,000 gross profit per Cybertruck, which could translate to 50 cents per share in incremental EPS, which is unlikely in Tesla consensus for 2025, which are at four dollars right now says gary and gary does not include fifty six hundred dollar vehicle manufacturing tax credits in his estimates because he says no it's hard to know what the actual software profitability is since this year we have the foundation series twenty thousand dollar premium Tesla previously said Cybertruck is unprofitable, but that was when they were producing 200 per week at 100,000 annual deliveries. I believe Tesla would generate $15,000 gross profit per unit plus the manufacturing tax credit. The credit is from the 4680 batteries.